Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out my Scratch games. With the first one being Tag on Scratch. I haven't actually uploaded any of these because I can't verify my email. Bruh. But we can still check them out. The first one is Tag on Scratch. So let's go. So it's pretty normal. The red person needs to catch the green person. But something cool happens. There's an Undertale reference. And the Undertale rep reference happens when the red guy catches the green guy. Like so. <laughs> so pretty much, what happens here is the tagger hits Z to attack, and then the runner controls the heart. And I recorded Undertale music. Wait, hold on. Let's do that again, because I don't think you guys could hear it. Let's do it again. So, let's do this. No! Wait! No! And then after... After the reference... The green guy gets trapped in a cage. The end. But don't tag him again or bad things will happen. Oh, never mind. I fixed that. So anyway, on to the next game. The next one is not really a game, but it's a... The next one... The next couple, actually, are remixes. Okay. This one is a remix. It's called Creeper! It's actually pretty good. So as you can see, it's based off of a game based off of a game. So this is the second one, thanks to whoever that is for the original project, Run From Wario Apparition. And then that one was based off of the one by Griff Patch. That's called 3D Maze version 0 0.12. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi, Una. Anyway. Let's check it out. Let's play. So pretty much, as you can see, I created this uh, Minecraft hotbar by myself. I'm not lying. There's the creeper. He brings down my hearts, so and he'll start chasing me. So he got his bit, his favorite bit. So you can jump, look around, and move. You can strafe, you can walk backwards. Don't oh, I lost a heart. The game isn't coded extremely well. The original game was coded pretty well, but the code I added is not coded very well because I am not the best at coding. But who cares? It's a good game. And if you don't think so, I'll come to your house at 3 a.m. And I'll bring candy. Anyway, this is what happens if you die. Nothing special. It just says you died and flag to respawn. Pretty good game. But, we need some actual gameplay. Mr. Creeper, come chase me. Oh! Oh! Here he comes. Let's go. He's behind me. Oh, he's, uh, he's back there. He pauses and then chases me again. It's weird. I don't know why. That code I did not add. All, like, the 3D maze stuff code... Um, was already here. So is, was the creeper code. The only part of the creeper I added was a bit of extra code. And the costume. See, this used to be Wario. But not anymore. Oh god, please, stop. Elevator, please. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god. Move, go around. Move. The game isn't that hard. It's pretty easy, you just have to run from the creeper. Whew. Okay. Where is he, by the way? Oh my god! He's fast. He's about- he's actually about the speed of you. Uh, uh, yes! Okay. Up here, up here. Let me bring up the resolution. It'll be a bit laggier, but at least you can actually see what's going on. See, now you can, like, see the- where is the creeper, by the way? Is he back here? Oh! You, d by the way, you do not lose hunger bars. 
You do not lose hunger bars. Those you do not lose. Oh! He's right behind me. Oh, it's a dead end. Please don't kill me. Ah! No! No! Please! No! So that was that game. Anyway, next one. This other one was actually based off of the... Oh, I did not mean to hit look inside. That's not something I meant to do. But the next game is actually based off of the same base game. It's called Not Scray, Not Scary, Game 3D Part 2. This is the original. You'll see the difference very soon. So let's check it out. Whoop. Go, I'm going down. So as you can see, it's the same base game. Why is he so short? Oh, he's not short. <gasps> oh, you can't actually die in this one. It's nothing special. He has the same code, but it's it's nothing special. Oh god. Anyway, this is not scary game 3D. Let's hope I don't get copyrighted. Oh god, why can't I move? Oh, right. This one controls differently. You can only look left and right, because forward and backwards moves. I created all the code for him, so it's obviously not as good. So, let me just... Yep, the game crashes when you die. Okay. Next, we have... Rickroll Chase 3D. This is sort of a meme game. There's no audio, you just pretty much have to run. There's three endings. Four, actually. The first one is what if you, you know, like, just don't make it to the door and, and it gets you. There. The next one is if you get to the door. Which is actually the same ending, and you'll see why in a second. See, it's a troll. It's a troll. The next one is if you hit C. See? You can cheat. But uh-oh, there's an anti-cheat, so you actually can't cheat. Watch this happen. Look, don't cheat. Then the last one is the reveal ending, which is the winning one. If you hit R. Then you can press space to talk to the stick man. How did you find me? I don't know. So he disappears. And then... You go to the door. And you win! Question mark. It's a funny game, but... The next one is called Scratch Cat and Seek Chase. This one is just you have to run from uh, from him, but he's faster than you no matter what you do, even if you hold down the button. Even if you hold down the button, it's no use. You're still gonna die eventually. See? But let's just die because I don't want to wait. Then this scary face appears. Anyway, next game. Good Night at Freddy's. This is one of my favorites. Good Night at Freddy's is hilarious. It's practically I remixed a Five Nights at Freddy's game and I made it. See this? And I made it like. Nope. Oh, that's going down. Um. So as you can see, he's wearing a sleep mask and it says Good Night at Freddy's. This is a funny one. Hit new game. And look. Freddy Fazbear is tired. <laughs> that's a sloppy sleep mask. I had to change every single frame of the game. It's 12 a.m. I want to sleep. Okay, so this is the game, pretty much. It works the same. It works the same. The cameras are the same, but the animatronics look different. We're giving the little red button has a Z on it. 
so this is an interesting game because it took me quite a while to make, but the result was worth it. We can't see Foxy yet, but yes, he also changed. Look, there's like sleep masks on the ground. There's one hanging. This is a, this is a very interesting game. There's the light. There's the closet. There's Chica. There's Bonnie. There's Foxy. There's Freddy. Nothing's gonna happen for a while. It's 12 a.m. We're not gonna wait through this entire night. Let's just run out of power. We're just gonna run out of power real quick. There, we're running out of power. Why is it not going down? I'm using maximum power usage. Why are you not going down? What if I just constantly flip through the cameras? Is the phone call still going? Yep, it is. That's probably why. Come on. Go down faster. You know what? Let's just go to the next game. We're going to the next game. Okay, next game. This next one is called Five Nights at Smiles. This is another Five Nights at Freddy's one. They're both based off of the same game, by the way. This one is actually unplayable because the cameras don't work, but it's still pretty funny. Good, good night. This symbol is where I got the idea for Good Night at Freddy's. It's see, Good Night Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. This is where I got the inspiration for Good Night at Freddy's, but new game. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. <laughs> oh god. It is playable, but you just can't use the cameras. But everything has a smile. 12 a.m. Smile night. Oh my god, why do I do this? Uh, okay, so as you can see, the faces change. It's pretty goofy. So as you can see, even the doors have faces. See that? The camera also has faces. You see that? The oh god. Camera. The camera has like a cat face. See this? That's funny. Oh god. This is what destroyed the camera, because I accidentally deleted the sprite. So the animatronics are still there, they're just not on the cameras. If you're wondering how it's made is going on in the background, I hope that I don't get copyrighted. I probably will, but who cares? I'll just delete the video. Same as the original FNAF one. Oh, I forgot to change this. Uh. Okay, so, next game. See, I was trying to make my own ver version. This next game is called FNAF. I was trying to make my own version, but so far this is all I have. The camera works. I hit down, the down arrow to bring up the camera. I can choose between the cameras. Then I can hit up to bring down the camera. I can close the doors, but that's about all I have. It's not a very good game, but it's something. This one is, I think, my first game. This one is called Scratch Cat Explores the World. You, you control a WASD. You hit spacebar to go to a different backdrop. It's not a very good game, but it's like my first one, okay? 
come on. Next game. Ah! Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Hold up. This one is called- this is- this one's called Scratch Cat in the Back Rooms. This is my first 3D game, actually. It, once again, it's not very good. You use W and S to walk forward and backward. Use the arrow keys to look. It's not very good, but it works. That was all my Scratch games. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.